taking a physical inventory. Some features discussed in this video are not available in all the editions of MaxTracks. Please visit scottsystems.com for comparisons between the different versions. The physical inventory feature in MaxTrax generates a list of the parts in your parts system to print out. The inventory is then physically counted and compared to what is shown as on hand in MaxTrax. There are a couple of actions to take prior to printing the inventory sheets. We'll go through those items first. Click on the Setups menu icon in the upper right corner of MaxTrax. Go to the General column and click on line B, Repair Orders and Parts Invoices. In the window that opens, click on the Physical Inventory tab. This window will list four items to decide on. First, if you want the current inventory quantity listed on the inventory sheet, check this box. Next, check here if you want buyouts listed on the inventory pages. Third, check here to include parts that show zero quantities on hand. And last, check this box to include parts with no minimum or best quantities. As you can see, if you check the last three boxes, it will increase the number of printed pages you will have on your inventory. Click OK when finished, then close the Setups menu. Next, we'll go to the Parts drop-down and click on the Physical Inventory button. At the Inventory Worksheet window, you will see a bold warning that suggests checking the setups we just went through. It also states that the inventory is designed only to count the parts on your shelves and not any parts that are reserved on repair orders or parts invoices. It is critical that any parts on repair orders or parts invoices be separated or not counted during the physical inventory. Also, please note that any parts on a parts return order that are awaiting a credit from a vendor will need to be counted even though they might be at the vendor. To find those parts, you would go back to the parts drop down, then the purchase orders button. From the parts order screen, you would locate the outstanding credits and then add them to your account. For more information on returns, please see our video titled Managing Returns and Vendor Credits. There are two tabs in the worksheets window one for open worksheets you are currently processing, and closed worksheets from previous inventories. The closed worksheets are good for referencing previous inventory counts. To start the physical inventory, click the Create Worksheets button. Another notice will appear reminding us that once the inventory pages are created, the physical count must be performed and posted prior to any other inventory activity. After all, if parts are added to the shelves or reserved on a repair order after the sheets are generated, the count will be incorrect. If you're ready to start the physical inventory, click OK. The Inventory Pages Wizard will open. You can choose what part types to include, filter by a particular manufacturer, and what order to sort the printed list. It is usually easiest to sort by part number, but that might not be the case at your shop. When you're ready, Click the Create the Physical Inventory Worksheets button. The Physical Inventory window will now open. This will list each page of the Physical Inventory. To print the worksheets, click the Print Worksheets button and decide if you want to print a highlighted page, a series of pages, or all the pages. The printed page will look something like this. These sheets will be used to note the actual counted quantity. Simply write the number of each part number in the far right column. These sheets will then be used to input the counted quantity in to MaxTrax. If you have performed the inventory count and the quantities have been written on the worksheets, gather all the worksheets together. In the Physical Inventory Worksheets window, double-click the inventory line you are working on. This opens the inventory screen where the individual pages are accessed. To enter the inventory quantities, highlight the page you are working on and click the Enter Quantities button or double-click the line. The inventory page will open. Enter the counted quantities in the far right column under the Counted Shelf Quantity. I have already filled this page in to save time. One of the time-saving features in MaxTrax is that if the quantity on your shelf is zero and the inventory sheet shows a zero, you do not have to fill anything in. Leave the field blank and MaxTrax will carry that zero over to the counted quantity. Once you have entered the count for the worksheet, fill in who counted the inventory and who entered the counts from the worksheet. Click the Page is Complete box, then the OK button. You might see the warning window explaining the zero quantity carryover. Click Yes to continue. Even if the pages marked complete, 
edits of the count can still be performed. The complete status is just to let us know that the page is finished and counted. Just double click the page or click the enter quantities button and edit the shelf quantity or uncheck the pages completed box. A situation could arise where you cannot complete an inventory. Once an inventory is started, you can't add parts to the parts list, reserve parts, or stock in new inventory. If a mistake was made and the inventory cannot be completed correctly, go back to the inventory worksheet window, simply right click the inventory line, and select the delete option. Once all the worksheets have been completed, it is time to post them. Please note that once a worksheet is posted, it cannot be deleted or changed. Any discrepancies between the count and the old quantity will automatically be posted to your inventory account with an offset balance to the inventory adjustment account. You really want to make sure the information on the worksheets is accurate and ready to post. Open the worksheets, verify they are completed, then click the Post Worksheets button. At the confirmation prompt, click Yes if you're ready to post the worksheets. The worksheets will now appear in the Closed Worksheets tab. To check the end financial result of our physical inventory, go to the Accounting drop-down and click on the Chart of Accounts button. You can see the adjustments made due to the inventory account in either the 13,000 Inventory account or the 56,000 Inventory Adjustments account. I prefer the 56,000 account because there's usually less activity there. Here you can see a $34.22 credit in the account from our physical inventory. We hope you found the preceding video helpful. MaxTrax team members are readily available to provide personal assistance via several methods as shown here, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Time. Thank you for watching.